I'll bring the Butte Silver Bow Council Commissioners Committee of the whole meeting to order for Wednesday, October 9th, 2019. Can we please have a roll call? Okay. We have nine present, one presiding, and two absent. Okay, please let the record reflect. Commissioner Anderson and McDonough are excused. Uh, we'll forego the prayer and the pledge as we just had that at the previous meeting. I'll move into public comment on any items that are on tonight's consent agenda or tonight's agenda. Okay, seeing none, I'll move into the report of the chair. Um, I do not have anything to add tonight. Uh, no bid openings, public hearings, and or presentations, so we'll move right into communications. Number one, communication 19-397, Patsy Coates, Property Specialist, Butte Silver Bow, Land Records Office, requesting council commissioners and the chief executive to concur with the request to hold a tax deed public auction on October 2nd, 2019, and request the county attorney's office to prepare two council resolutions to be read and acted upon and passed the same night as the tax deed sale public auction with the date of October 2nd, 2019. This all did occur, so Commissioner Shaw. <clears throat> Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I would move to cross-reference cross communication number 19-397 with resolution 19-60 was passed last week and place this on file. Do I have a second? Okay, motion made and seconded. Um, to cross-reference with this or with resolution 19-60 and place on file. Is there anything on the question? Would everyone please vote? Would the clerk please record the vote? Ten yay and zero nay. Okay, motion passes. Number two, communication 19-416. James F. Kilmer and Ben F. Pesdark requesting council commissioners Authorize the Chief Executive to sign the contract between Justice Courts 1 and 2. Request to renew the copier maintenance contract with Lee's Office City. The contract is for 1920 on the Lanier LD320D. The amount of the contract was $576. Uh, Ms. Gleason, do you happen to have an update on, on this particular communication? Ms. Gleason. Uh, Chairman Morgan, um, Council Commissioners, um, I did meet with uh, Jim Kilmer, actually in passing. We were able to catch each other, and this will be news for the chief executive because I didn't touch base with him on this <laughs> prior to this meeting, but um, this maintenance agreement has to stay in place. They have yet to purchase their new um, copier that was authorized in the budget, and they were having some issues with the copier plus it, um, their old copier, so it's actually saving us money by keeping this in place. They had some repairs done. If you look at the contract, I think it even has a May date on it, start date, um, through June 30th um, on the agreement that you have before you. And some service work has already been done in July that was well over $400 on this machine. So it just makes sense to keep this contract in place. Um, they can terminate it once they buy their new copier. So, Okay, thank you. Does anybody have any questions? Commissioner Shaw? Yeah, concur and place on file. <clears throat> Thank you, Mr. Chairman. At this time, I would move to uh, place communication 19-41, concur with communication 19-416 and place this on file. Second. Okay, there's been a motion made and seconded. Is there anything on the question? Would everyone please vote? Okay, would the clerk please record the vote? Ten yay and zero nay. All right, motion passes. Number three, communication 19-439, Maria Porchevina, Executive Secretary, Butte Silver Bow Tibid, requesting suspension of the Council of Commissioners rules to allow for public hearing and presentation for the fiscal year 2020 work plan and budget for the Butte Silver Bow um, Tourism Business Improvement District, TBID, on September 25th. We did uh, go through all of these steps, so Commissioner Shaw. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. At this time, I would move to cross-reference communication 19-439 with resolution 19-62 that was passed last week and place this on file. Second. Okay, there's been a motion made and seconded to cross-reference with resolution 19-62 and place on file. Is there anything on the question? Would everyone please vote? 
Okay, would the, anyone like to change their vote? Would the clerk please record the vote? A nine yay and one nay. Okay, motion passes. Number four, communication 19-443, Eldon Beal, citizen requesting council commissioners authorize the chief executive to amend and include Emma Park, BSB County, Code of Ordinances, Chapter 9.16, Park Restrictions, and to include penalties and fines, etc. Um, we'll continue to hold this in abeyance, waiting for a report from Public Works Department or Parks and Rec. Number five, communication 19-460. Eileen Joyce, Butte Silver Bow County Attorney, requesting council commissioners authorize a public hearing to be conducted at 7.30 on September 25th, 2019, for the purpose of hearing all objections to resolution 19-59, which is a resolution of intent to change the holidays observed by the city, county of Butte Silver Bow, Montana, specifically authorizing a holiday for the Friday after Thanksgiving in exchange for not having a holiday on Columbus Day. Um, Commissioner Shaw. <clears throat> Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, we did pass uh, Resolution 19-63 just a few minutes ago, so I would recommend that we or make a motion to cross-reference Communication 19-460 with Resolution 19-63 and place this on file. Do I have a second? Second. Okay, there's been a motion made and seconded by Commissioner Olson. Is there anything on the question? Would everyone please vote? Would the clerk or would anyone like to change their vote? Would the clerk please record the vote? We have 10 yay and 0 nay. Okay, motion passes. Number six, communication 19-461, James Kilmer, Justice Court requesting council commissioners authorize the Butte Justice Court to become a court of record and refer this matter to the county attorney so the resolution can be completed. We did have this resolution introduced to the Judiciary Committee last week, so Commissioner Shaw. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. At this time, I've moved uh, to cross-reference communication 19-461 with resolution 19-61 and place this on file. Second. Okay, there's been a motion made and seconded by Commissioner Olson. Is there anything on the question? Would everyone please vote? Commissioner Olson. Second. Okay. Uh, would anyone like to change their vote? Would the clerk please record the vote? Ten yay and zero nay. Okay, motion passes. Number seven, communication 19-465, Peter Shea requesting council commissioners authorize the chief executive to discuss uh, the purchase of a single lot owned by Butte Silver Bow located at 2720 Pine Street, Butte, Montana. The legal description is Crosby Edition, South 20, Township 3 North, Range 7 West, Block 10, Lot 1. The assessment code is 00019023600. Um, we'll continue to hold this in abeyance as we wait for the recommendation from the Land Sales Committee. Number eight, communication 19466, Eric Mankins, Commissioner District Number Nine, requesting Council of Commissioners authorize the Chief Executive to discuss a change in the zoning ordinance requiring community residential facilities, as defined by state law, to obtain a conditional use permit with Butte Silver Bow County and all residential zoning districts, including R1, R2, R3. R4S and RC. I did have a conversation with Miss Casey, um, planning director, and they are looking into this and they are going to report back to us as soon as they have a um, plan to present back to us. So they are working on it and it will be okay. as soon as they can. Anything to add? Okay. So we'll continue to hold that in abeyance. Number nine, communication 19-482, Ed Randall, Community Enrichment uh, Department Director, requesting Council of Commissioners permission for a presentation on October 16th, 2019, meeting to present an update on the Butte Silver Bow Community Enrichment Department. We'll continue to hold this in abeyance. Uh, Mr. Randall did request that we move this presentation to be the middle of November. So uh, we'll just hold this in abeyance until that date. Next item is uh, public comment on any public matter that's not on tonight's agenda. Please state your name and address for the record. Our of 2601 Grand Avenue. I know it's snowing out there now, but I could sure use that green container. I've shipped four 
containers full of green waste over the last four weeks. I'm not about to run out to the landfill with 30 gallons worth of green waste, but I'm quite sure there's a lot of other people ever since Alley Rally has uh, been closed down that are cleaning out their yards at this time of year that would use a green container. I would sure like to see the survey up so we know how many there are. Thank you. Thank you. Any other public comment on any item that's not on tonight's agenda? All right, seeing none, Commissioner Shaw. I move to adjourn. Second. Okay, all those in favor? Opposed? Motion passes. Thank you and have